guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I am filming from a new angle, I'm filming from my window, hence the natural light. And this is going to be a bit of a different video. I'm actually going to be, well, I'm probably going to upload this the same day that I'm filming it, which is currently Wednesday. And it's, like I said, it's a little bit different, but it's, I don't know. It's definitely me, that much I don't know. And it is, and I've seen quite a few people doing this, it's, it's a fangirl tag. Because for those people that don't know, or if you're new to my channel, hi, I am a fangirl. And you're about to find out exactly what I'm a fan of. So, I will link the, uh, link, I'll put the questions down in the comments. If, you know, if somebody's watching this wants to have a go at the tag themselves, because this tag covers loads of different fandoms. So, let's get on with it. So, first question. First person I ever obsessed over. Hmm. That would probably be... Jonas Brothers and that is on the basis that when I was younger I was a big fan of Disney Channel and all the um all the artists that came under under Disney so like Selena Gomez, uh, Demi Lovato, Miley Cyrus but there was something about the Jonas Brothers that just yeah they, they just did it for me and I will this isn't um This isn't in the um in the tag but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna come out and say it. My favourite Jonas brother out of the three of them was Nick. He was so cute. He still is, but he's kind of taken. So moving on. <laughs> Number two, current obsession. Do I have to pick just one? <laughs> I mean I have a lot. Um Well, if I remember, I will insert a picture here of my band fandoms because I'm in I'm in quite a few. I mean, I love a lot of different um, different music, but you know, I'm a fan of TV shows and movies. So there's a lot. There's a lot that I could. You know, I, I could talk about fandoms forever. <laughs> that's one thing I'm definitely very good at. I think that's probably why, I mean, I've been a fangirl for, it's coming up for 12, year, 12 years next month. 23rd of July is my fandom anniversary. So, in 12 years, that's, that is a long time to think that that's, big portion of my life so yeah okay moving on third question favorite band this is actually quite an easy one I'm gonna say one day simply because I mean you would think because the Jonas Brothers were were the first band I kind of obsessed over but it was it was different because I didn't fully understand the whole obsession thing you know the whole fandom side of it so with Jonas Brothers I think it was more of a more just of a I like them I like the music it, it was more kind of like that whereas with 1D I mean I've literally been a fan of 1D I'll be right back okay I'm back now sorry about that my sister felt the need to FaceTime me for whatever reason but anyway we're back. Um, so going back to question number three, favourite band, I'm going to say One Day because unlike with the Jonas Brothers where it was just a kind of I like this band, with One Day it was I love this band, I am obsessed with this band. I mean I have, if, I was going to say if you've seen some of my older videos but no. But if, you've, if you know me personally, hi by the way, um, you'll know that I have a lot of merch. I mean, I have a lot of 1D merch. I have all their albums. I've got all their tour programs. I just, it, 
it's insane. <laughs> I mean, I love all my fandoms, obviously, but with one day, it's kind of like, you know, they were the first band that I really got into and I made some really good friends with being a 1D fan, so. Okay, number four, favourite singer. Hmm. You know, I mean, I'd love to, I, I would, It. it's a tie, it's a tie. I've got two that I love more than anything. And it's Niall and Sean. I mean, I love Niall because he's my favourite member of 1D. So that links. And I love Sean because I love everything about him. I love his personality. I love his songs. And there's also the um, the thing of he's the same age as me. I mean, a few months older. His birthday is in August, mine's in December. But we were born in the same year. So I feel like I've got... I've got a connection almost. I don't know. It's not hard to describe it. Okay, number five. Favourite YouTuber? I don't know. I mean, I watch quite a lot of YouTube. Um, I really don't know. There isn't... There isn't honestly, like, just one YouTuber that stands out above all the others. I mean, obviously, I'm trying to be a YouTuber, and it's, like I say, it's hard. Um, but I do recommend it. It It is fun, I will say that. It's just hard, that's all. Um, but favourite YouTuber? I really don't know. Okay, I don't have a current favourite YouTuber right now. But, thinking back to when I was younger, the Jonas Brothers Disney days, um, I spent a lot of time watching Brit Haley. I watched a lot of their videos when I was younger, and yeah. So, I'm going to say Brit Haley, but then, for when I was younger, but for right now, I don't currently have a favourite YouTuber. I just watch, I watch a lot of YouTube and it's all different different videos so it's kind of a mash at the minute okay first concert oh that's an easy one that was the up all night tour for 1d in 2011 i think it was the 2011 slash 12 sort of year um yeah that's about it um <laughs> moving on Favourite movie? I mean this... It... Okay, I can't pick just one. So I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do top three, because there's three mo three franchises that I can watch forever. And they are Harry Potter, obviously. Harry Potter slash Fantastic Beasts, because to me they come under the same thing, because I mean, I don't know. Technically, Fantastic Beasts is separate, but it's the same, if that makes any sense. Well, that doesn't make sense. Um, and then, obviously, the um, the Twilight series. I really like them. Definitely Team Edward, for those wondering. I know nobody was, but there you go. And my final film is Five Feet of Power, Cole Sprouse. That film... I swear, if you want a film that that can make you cry, go watch Five Feet Apart because seriously, it will make you cry. I cried three times watching it. It it's an emotional one, and I still haven't read the book, so there you go. Okay, next favorite actor or actress, Daniel Radcliffe. Well, either. Daniel Radcliffe or Eddie... Mm, I can't think of his name. I know he plays Newt in Fantastic Beasts, I just can't think of his name. I'm gonna say Eddie Redmay, but I don't know if that's right. If that's wrong, 
just comment down below. I won't mind. It's just, I know his first name. I just don't know his last name. I'm trying, guys. Okay, first celebrity crush. Easy. Nick jo Actually, no. No, sorry. Not Nick Jonas. Um, Zac Efron from High School Musical. What can I say? I was a true Disney fan. Disney fan right here. Okay, ever got made number number ten. Ever got made fun of for what I like? Yes, unfortunately. Especially in high school. I had um I had a one D school bag and a you know, it was at the the peak of my fandoms and all the all the merch and stuff so I had a 1D school bag <coughs> excuse me and I had a five sauce uh, pencil case and yeah suffice to say that uh, people in high school they're not nice if you want to know more about my fandom bullying story give the video a thumbs up and i might do it in a separate video it might be this week's fangirl friday who knows moving on favorite book it's number 11 um i don't know i mean that's kind of a hard one simply because i suffer with dyslexia wait actually no no i've just thought um I do have dyslexia, but I read all my books um, via my iPad. Oh, look, you can see my... This is my setup, by the way, guys. <laughs> That's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I read all my books on my iPad. I've had to do everything on my iPad, note-taking everything. Um, but getting off topic. Um, my favourite book series that I've read with on my iPad, because there's a special... Um, the special font for people with dyslexia. That's a fun fact for you. So, um, my favourite series, book series, was the After series. And that actually, I've just realised now, that just going back to the favourite movie one, I would say the After series as well. <laughs> so it's top four. Top four movies. Okay, number 12. Favourite TV show? Now this is an easy one. One Chicago. Now I know what you're thinking. What's One Chicago? Well for those that don't know, it comes under three, three things. I mean I will put a picture here so then you will see what One Chicago is. But if you don't already know and you don't want to google it, basically you have Chicago Med, Chicago Fire and Chicago PD. And it's all about the emergency services and I just uh, I just love it but then I also love Riverdale and everyone knows what Riverdale is there isn't th there isn't anyone that doesn't know <laughs> what Riverdale is it, it's on Netflix if you didn't already know I also and this is probably gonna well actually it might not sound weird because I'm all I know I'm not the only one. I actually liked um Squid Game on Netflix. I mean I did watch the uh the dub version, I'm not gonna lie. Simply because I have dyslexia, so it's hard for me to read and watch at the same time. And then I also quite enjoyed um the other one that they did. All of us are dead. Well that was quite good as well. But they're not they're more I enjoyed them. They're not they're not on the, the same level as One Chicago and Riverdale. Riverdale and One Chicago will go at the top of the scale. Squid Game and all of us will go about mm, about three quarters of the way down. So pretty close, but not. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Moving on, number 13, favourite fictional character. That's quite a hard one. That is a really hard one because I love a lot of TV shows and a 
a lot of movies so I have too many to choose from I love Newt Scamander from uh, Fantastic Beasts uh, I love Stellaride from Chicago Fire hashtag Stellaride OTP they are my OTP um, I love Jughead from Riverdale Archie from Riverdale um, I think that's it if I think of any more I will put it in the description so read the description in case I've added any more <laughs> moving on number 14 something I love about a fandom I'm in well the thing I love I mean this applies to all the fandoms I'm in whether it's music related TV, movies, whatever. I love how close everyone is. You know, we all have something in common because I've spent, well, for 12 years looking for somebody that was interested in the same thing I was and could relate to what I like, you know? And so I was like, you know, just someone that gets it because it's all well and good being able to talk to your family about it they're not really into it so they don't they don't get it and it it's hard <laughs> okay number 15 something i hate about a fandom i'm in hmm. oh yeah with the 1d fandom and now with little mix because they're both on break i hate how people keep saying that they're over they're broken up they're not gonna get back together that's <sighs> really annoys me. I wish people wouldn't keep saying it because it is not true. I will believe it when they come out and say it themselves. Until then, just don't say it. Number 16. Would I ever take a bullet for the people I fangirl over? Yes, definitely. That is how much I dedicate. I mean, you can kind of see behind me, I have a fandom wall. If you've seen my room tour, you will look, you'll have seen that in more detail. I mean, my fandoms, they're quite literally everywhere. All, all over the room. Well, as much as they can be. Which I'm allowed. Um, everything, you know, I mean, I have, um, I'm going to do a What's on my Pandora bracelet because it's been... There we go. As you can see, I have, oh, come on, quite a lot of charms oh focus um anyway it's not gonna focus i have quite a lot and i actually have two bracelets so i will do a what's on my pandora bracelet but the point i was making was i have quite a lot of the harry potter charms that they did i mean i have a you can't see it because i'm currently sat on my bed but i have a hufflepuff duvet cover that's my house i have you know i would do anything for my fandoms I mean, I'm, I posted this on my Instagram, I posted it on my Twitter as well, I will link them down below. Um, New Hope Club released two new songs today. They are amazing by the way, I will do a reaction video to those soon. And Harry's album, I know, I'm behind, I'm so sorry guys, I've been so busy. Um, but anyway, they released two new songs today and George from New Hope Club said, he put he tweeted out retweet my pinned tweet for a follow to celebrate the new songs so i retweeted it and i thought you know it's not gonna happen to me and as i was sorting my playlist out on apple music again if i remember if you want to check out my apple music i'll try and link it down below if i can future me don't forget to link all these things down below <laughs> good luck good luck editing hmm. good luck um anyway and yeah, as I was saying, I was sorting my playlist out and I got the notification on Twitter that George from New Hope Club had followed me. I will put insert the picture here because I screenshotted it. I fangirled. I had a fangirl moment. If you're a fan if you're a fellow fangirl, I had an OMF moment. 
Okay, number 17. Do I ever hide the fact that I like someone out of fear of getting teased? No. No, I would never hide it because to me, my fandom's a part of who I am. And if somebody doesn't like it, then the door's over there. You know, I am who I am. If you don't like it, then see ya. <laughs> that sounded quite harsh, I know that. Um, but it, no, I don't. I don't hide my fandoms. You know, I mean they. Like I say, they're a big part of my life, and they have been for twelve years. So, why, you know, why, why would I stop now? Why? If it's not broken, don't fix it. Okay, number eighteen. Have I ever met any of my idols? Technically, yes, because I do have, and I have to. Um, I have to make this video. I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm gonna do a a tour program collection because I've got quite a few tour programs now, and I actually have a signed Five Seconds of Summer tour program. If I remember, this will be if I remember. I'll set a picture of it. Um, and as you can see from this picture, it is signed by them and it has my name on it. So. I have to say it's kind of like my prized possession, I guess you could say. Um, I have also met Union J at a CD signing. Um, I don't have pictures of that, but I do have the signed CD. If you've seen my CD collection, I know quite a few have. Um, I'm trying to think. I think that's it. So I know I have other signed things i know i do but some of them i just bought off their website so mm, y yes and no uh number 19 do i have merch of the people i fangirl over seriously mm -hmm. i have a lot of merch i have merch in my fandom cupboard i have merch on my bed and under my bed i have merch on the walls you can see behind me I even have merch in my parents' bedroom, on my desk. And I have merch in the loft, I have that much. It's in bags, fandom bags, and I have a, where is it? There, no, there, um, a full puff scarf. I even have, you can't see it, but I have a shelf up here with, um, with Harry Potter stuff on, including a um, a notebook personalised with my name on it. So. Do I have merch? No. No, I don't have any merch. No, what are you talking about? Of course I do. I have loads of merch. I have all the merch. All the merch possible. All the merch I can afford anyway. Moving on. Last question, number 20. Favourite fangirl moment? The day I became a fangirl because that day it changed my life and i'm not being cliche but I'm, I'm not it did honestly change my life and for that i'll be forever grateful to one day so that is it for the fangirl tag i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big 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 <laughs> thumbs up and yeah Comment, subscribe, follow me on social media if you want to, if you're interested in my fandom life. Or check out my Tumblr if you're interested. Whatever. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!